Hi there. Uh, my name is Charlotte and I want to show you today how you can make your own mat cleaner. Uh, what you're going to need is a specific spray bottle. Um, you can get these uh, set of two amber bottles um, and they also come with their own caps as well as a small funnel. You can get these on Amazon Prime. Uh, just type in glass amber spray bottle. You're also going to need just some simple tap water. You are going to need your choice of essential oil, whether that is going to be tea tree oil, that's what I'm going to use. Um, usually it's something that's going to be invigorating, especially if it's on your mat. Um, I like to spray my mat at the beginning of my practice and at the end. Um, one, to just make sure it's clean at the beginning and then cleaning it up at the end once I'm done but as well as depending on the essential oil and how much you put in there, uh, starts to activate uh, your mind in the way whether you wanna calm it down or if you want to um, wake it up and add something extra to it. So, and then the last thing you're going to need is some distilled vinegar. So what we're going to do to begin is taking one of our bottles, you're gonna want a funnel of some kind, the funnel, that comes with the bottles is very small. This is gonna be what you wanna use for the um, smaller items, your essential oils and your vinegar. Uh, but for the water, we're going to take this, pour it in. Stop about when you're about 90% full. And then get the other little funnel. Vinegar doesn't need to be that much. Um, I wouldn't do bleach or anything like that because uh, vinegar is just gonna be the least harmful of all things when it comes to cleaning your mat and just preserving uh, its integrity and um, durability. So about a tablespoon of vinegar. Um, you also don't want to worry about putting in too much because then you can get that vinegar smell no matter how much essential oils that you put in there. So it's important that you keep that in mind on the increments. Um, so I wouldn't say so many parts one way or the other. You're just going to have to kind of judge it. But usually in the 16 ounce amber bottles, um, I do about a tablespoon of vinegar. And then I do, I'm pretty generous on my tea tree oil. Um, I really love it. I have tea tree shampoo, conditioner. I just like tea tree in general. Um, eucalyptus is going to be another option, throwing some lemon in there, rosemary, um, citrus, anything of that nature, especially if you use your, uh, I actually have, I used to do two different sprays. I would do a relaxing spray and then an invigorating spray. So depending on time of day and what I was wanting to do, um, that's kind of how I played it. And so I'm not good at saying conserve your essential oils. Um, my nose needs a little help on breathing sometimes. And then you can just top this off nice and easy. And what I like about these amber bottles is the fact that they do have the cap. So when you want to shake this up and move it around, whoopsie, you can. And the nice thing is, even if it spills, like what happened to me just now, no big deal, get a rag, wipe it off. You've just cleaned your little area. Shaking it up. Oh yeah, I can smell it now. And then when you're ready to spray, seal this on. And you're good to go. Uh, this is a very simple, affordable way of taking care of your products, your yoga stuff, and then as well as a great homemade uh, birthday gift or Christmas gift for any of your friends, um, clients, things of that nature. So 
I'm gonna clean up this mess. I'm gonna fill up my other bottle, but I hope that made sense. I hope that's an easy, simple, do-it-yourself at home remedy to maintaining your mat and make sure it doesn't smell like feet after a while. I hope y'all have a good one.